Hello, and welcome back to some more Kerbal Space Program with me, the Green Dragon. So, this thing doesn't really fly as well as you might have thought. Now that we know that, we are gonna, like, totally pull it apart and do it better. Better, that's a technical term. It needs to be right about so. That's more or less perfect alignment, all things considered. Which is great. Ah, crap. Yeah, this plane, highly expensive, 25k. And we have burned through a bit of our money during these test flights, incidentally. We really have. Oh well. These things do happen. So, is there any way, any way, any bloody way in which we can add more lift to this insanity? Uh, shit. There we go. Uh, slightly behind, good. Hmm. <coughs> more lift, um, or at least more control up front. Yeah, like so. Right, right, right. Right, not on pitch. No, pitch is good. This should be. Doesn't want. Don't want it on yaw. And you just do with the yaw. I think that's the way we want it set up. Unless I'm totally misinterpreting it, in which case, forgive me. Yeah, this is probably the best we can do, unless there's some place I can just shave a bit of weight off. I don't think we really need more fuel. I mean, I could add some, but I don't think we need it. Go like that, and... Um, I don't know, let's... let's try launch. Let's just try launch and see. Let's just try launch and see. Name. Hey. Okay, the action groups on those need to be reset because of how bullshit the game can be. Okay, group one. Good. And, uh, yes, toggle engines. Yes. Let's try this again. Let's just try this again. Good, good, good. So. Now let us accelerate and see about making good things happen. Are you feeling good, Bill? I'm feeling good about this. Surely this will work this time, right? Okay, it pitches slowly without the SAS, but slowly. I mean, pitches forward, but slowly. Which is good. That means we'll have proper control. Doesn't appear to drift downwards too badly on roll or turn. Good. Excellent. This is a lot more stable than before. The only question is, will we have enough fuel to, you know, make it up there? That's kind of an important question. It really, really is. It really, really is. Hmm. I'm not sure if it will, but actually, if our situation is, I mean, if we aren't picking up any decent speed and if we are, you know, pressed for time due to fuel limits, we should climb more aggressively, namely, you know, namely, well, namely we want to climb at a 45 degree angle and then we'll level out some higher up. See, this is working out a lot better than a gradual climb at 30 degrees. Which is perfectly fine. We're even picking up a bit of speed. I wonder how high these engines can be made to work, all things considered. Because there have been some changes since I played this game a lot in the past and... Uh, I do have a lot of intakes on this. 
I don't know, I'm betting 15, 16,000 before they start being relatively useless. Though it can be hard to judge. In any case, I think we want to pitch forward slightly and start picking up horizontal speed. Yeah, this rely... If, I mean, if this is to make it into orbit, we need at least six or 700 meters per second, I think, from jets. Though, of course, I can't know it for a fact. It's just an estimate. Still, there are limits to what the rockets can be expected to pull off. Limits along the lines of two, two and a half thousand meters per second of delta V, and we need that much speed just to be in orbit, and that means that well, we need to pick up a decent amount of speed first because, well, for one thing, we do need to make it up there for another... Well, you get the idea, right? There's atmospheric resistance, there's all kinds of stuff. It adds up, and don't fall, you dumb fuck. Pull up. Wow, yeah, it really isn't equipped for this. Yeah, do it however you like, it just ain't equipped for this. Okay, fine, let's do a proper test, see how far we can take this. Let's just see. Let's just try and get a bit of... speed there. So you are still burning fuel and you are not doing very well with it. We are far too low down. It This isn't gonna work. This isn't going anywhere. It just isn't. It just isn't. Right. Hmm. Well, that's crappy. Alright, I guess we are gonna go to plan B and use solid boosters to get this up there. This is bad. Okay, so now it's in a spin. We need to find a place where we can land this. Gonna try and make it to that island over there. Hopefully. That's the dream, anyway. To make it to that little island over there. Hopefully we'll be able to land this safely and recover at least some of our cash. Because, you know, money. Although I guess I could fly back to the space center. Nothing really stopping me. I mean, where are we on the map? We're not that far away. We're about as far away as from that island, actually. So, let's just um, try to change the direction of our travel, shall we? Give us a bit of thrust, help us get a bit of control back over this plummet of death. And just, yeah. Don't spiral out on me. Come on. Pull up. Pull up. That's a good girl. Pull up. Good, 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 good. Well done, well done. Well done. Well done. Good. And now we want a bit of... Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Really? These weren't fully filled? I don't want a sim asymmetry God, ruining my work here. Frag that. Okay, we're about to stall out. Good thing we transferred the fuel over just in time. Now let us see about... Uh, whoa, bit too much time warp. Just... Oh, look at that thing wobble. Much scary. Alright. It seems to me that two of these rocket engines might be a bit excessive if we want this to ever work the way we want it to. I mean, we can get into space, right? On a... Uh, with a rocket, right? In much the same way. I mean, using jets, I mean. And rockets. 
So, it should be possible with a space plane, unfortunately not so much. Or at least it's proving hard so far. And yes, I know, but I'm running this at the time warp to save time. Oh my god! I know it's wonky, I know it's hard to control, but it seems to be a better way of doing things. Okay. Anyway. So, that's looking nice and good. Running low on fuel on that, unfortunately, but we shouldn't need to refuel again, I think. It should be okay. So, let us see, shall we? If I had bigger wings, that might help. Then again, it might not. Who knows? Alright. Yeah, the minimum submission can wait. The pilot in orbit, well... Well, he can wait too, actually. <laughs> Screw him, but... I really want a proper rescue plane. You know? I really want a proper rescue plane. That's really all this is about. Me wanting a proper rescue plane. So... Anyway, we're getting a fair amount of speed on that, but we're also burning a fair amount of fuel, so let us just throttle down to a smidge of power, especially considering the fact that we are so very light, we should need more than that anyway. Okay, the engines are practically cold now. I mean, seriously, shouldn't need more than this to keep these running, right? Okay, we should have just enough fuel to, well, land this thing. I think. I think. Okay, chase cam. Good, good, but not so good. Let's see if we can land this one safely as well. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely need a bit more... I don't know what we need. Maybe we just don't have the right parts for this yet. Trying to get up there with these kinds of puny jets is not necessarily the best idea. I think I'm carrying too much rocket fuel with me, to be honest. We can get high enough in the atmosphere to really... I mean, we should get most of our speed from other things and then just use the jets to finish orbiting. Right? Well, actually, yeah, I have a better idea. It won't be perfect. It won't be a proper single stage to orbit, but... Um, we will only be using solids, I think, so it should work out fine. And we're out of fuel. Okay, this is just making me dizzy. Okay, pitch forward ever so slightly. Go there. Just... Yes, I do need a bit more speed here. Sorry. And we do have the fuel to burn, so... It's better than smashing up the plane. The plane is worth a thousand times more than the fuel. Right? Despite being like a horrible failure, it is still an extremely valuable failure. Eek, that was a bit of a rough landing, a bit of a smashing in the ground, but the plane took it pretty well, so that's good. Okay, so, rever no, don't revert. Reverting is for wusses. And we have a good amount of money saved up, and I can always build a rocket and do some missions, if, you know, I need to, because, you know, Rockets I can do. It's the planes that are giving me trouble. Okay. So. Okay. So, let us say... We had a... Thing. Where we did a thing, and a thing, and a thing. And then we had a thing. Right, where are the things? 
there are the things. You will have something like this with a single jet engine and that will be just for the landing, right? Right, and we will use rockets to get up there. Okay, so this will be really, really crappy on the weight. All right. Okay. So, what if we had it like central mass? I mean, ah, uh, it'll align crappily if we do it that way. Fine, we'll do it like this. I mean, the engines will drag it backwards some, right? Okay, so that's about perfect. And with... Uh, not that it's gonna matter, but with three intakes for the engine, it's gonna do a pretty... Crap. Get out of here. Just get out of here. Ah, God damn it! Game! Just let me add the intake to this, please. Okay, so yeah, yay one landing engine. That's all we're gonna have on this. We're gonna have a couple of nice delta wings. Cause, you know, enough, right? Fuck this shit, we're gonna do this properly. Kerbal style. Right? In fact, let's add an RCS here f as well for shits and giggles. Good. That way, these little thrusters are actually worth something. And why don't we add a few more? Right? Uh, the frack are they? Uh, control, right. Yay, here and another one. Yay, here. Good. So, why don't we add a winglet? Or two. To the front, of course. And good. Okay, so that is that, at least that looks goodish. Slight. Are you kidding me? The fuck game. Stop being a little bitch about these things. Okay, just be there. It's fine. Anyway, just adjust the wings. Move them. Yay, so. Uh, this might shift slightly backwards, might shift... Okay, why don't we just see? So this shifts slightly forwards. Okay. Which is actually fine, that will make it easier to control, not harder. What will, you know, as long as we don't get it... Um, in a really crappy in that really crappy position where the center of lift is ahead of the center of mass, we're gonna be fine. Right. And in order to actually get it up there, we're gonna want a pair of, or a quartet of very big boosters. Huh. Seem to have discovered a flaw in my reasoning. Alright, we'll do it that way, because we Right, we need uh, landing gear here. Landing gear here. Okay, so what I want to know actually is how it will actually fly. For example, with a full load. So let's try to get this off the ground. After adding a pair of winglets here. And uh, right and there we go. That's better. That's better. Now let us test it out. Let us test it out. Okay. Activate the engine. If this can make it off the ground on its own, then... You know, I'll be relatively satisfied with its flight characteristics. And I'll also, of course, want to test out its... Damn, it can make a decent clip of speed, huh? Even with just the one engine. Does... Okay. 
does seem relatively stable, but it seems to want to pitch forwards a smidge. No? Yeah, it does like to nosedive a bit. Okay. Okay. Good enough. Let us try to turn this around and try to land it. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Uh, power out of it. Okay, good. Speed, speed is good. Speed saves your life. Okay, good. Shut down the engine. Good, good, good. Okay. Ac activate you. Shut down you. Good. Now, full throttle once again and let us attempt to land this thing safely. Jesus. Oh, hello, monolith. Sup. Okay, so we have a decent amount of speed. We are... Let's just turn slightly before actually landing. Yep, we want to come down real gentle, like ditch the... Ditch the speed. Yeah, and these are the wrong kinds of engines anyway. I wanted the other ones. Okay, good. Brakes. Brakes, 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 brakes. We should be okay. Okay, so... Okay, so what I think I would like to do is actually move the actual wings slightly back. Hopefully this will work out. In just a smidge back. Okay, hopefully this will be okay. Then, we want to add a decoupler right here and a decoupler right underneath on much the same place. And then we will see, won't we? Crap. Frack. The front landing gear is going to be in the way. Okay, so these are start retracted, start retracted. And we're going to use these decouplers. Of course, that's not going to work the way I want it to. That would be easy. Okay, enough of that. That's about the best we can do anyway. Yay, so good. And... Um, I doubt these are gonna have enough delta V to... Seriously? What about now? Are you... Fucking serious? Frack. God damn it, game. Okay, just... Alright. So... Uh, da, 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 engineer, how much delta we do you promise me for this madness? 750. That's nowhere near enough. We're gonna need really big ones. Alright. Oh, okay, yeah, it has to be on this. And it should be aligned, if possible, which is going to be a pain. Okay. Let's, let's try. Yeah, that is just trial and error is the best we're going to be able to do. Yep, that's not going to be okay. Okay, that looks good. Front, back, wide. It's probably easier to correct the front one, or the top one. Okay, that's about right. Good. Good, good, good. So it will be the cost of these two big-ass boosters, essentially, per launch. 
and this should be just about enough to make it into orbit. Hopefully. Actually, this needs to be further back ever so slightly. Hmm. Yeah, so... I don't know. It might be easy. You know what? Yeah. This isn't gonna work. This really isn't gonna work. We're gonna go into the vehicle assembly building and build a proper rescue rocket. Cause seriously, this is just not gonna work. I'm gonna add one of these just so that we can fly it without actually, yeah. I'm gonna start with this and add one of these below it. And then we're gonna have what? What are we gonna have? Think shoots. I really think shoots. So a shoot. Damn it! Right. Yay! Yeah, so good, good, good. And then below that, what do we have below that? Think below that. We're just gonna have a thingy with a poodle. Because we do need to test a poodle in orbit. And we do need to go to Minmus. Experimenting with planes might be well and good, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be a working thing. So, you know, screw that. Screw that. Hmm. Science? Should probably have science on this thing, right? So let's have some of that. Just a one antennae, please, thank you. And a smidge of RCS stuff. Mm, I think that was here. Yes, it was. Good, good, good. There we go. Good, good, good. And this will definitely be a landable part, right? Because everybody knows we don't want to lose things if we can avoid it. Uh, is that low enough? I think so, just barely. Start retracted, good. Okay, so that's worth 11,000 right there. Good. So, Minmus round trip, about uh, 3,000 from low carbon orbit. So, we have to get this whole thing into orbit somehow. Okay, that is doable. That is doable. So, I'm thinking a mainsail powered launcher will be good. Right? Possibly with a internally independent. Holy mother of God! That is immensely expensive. Wow, I'm impressed. No, seriously, I'm like impressed. That needs to be recovered if possible. So, um, how much is that exactly? Oh, that's a decent amount of trust per weight as well. So we can add another tank there, right? And how much is that? So, okay, so that's 3700 right there. You know, the expense of a couple of really big ass solid boosters is really small compared to the expense of that mainsail. So, we'll just use the one mainsail and attempt to recover it if possible. Right? Because mainsail valuable. And how does this work out on numbers, right? How does this work out? Because I would really like to know. Almost enough. That's that's nice. Ooh. We could actually add another orange tank instead. Cool. Yeah, these big ass tanks are very much expensive. But it'll look like a really cool rocket, actually, which will be nice. Okay, so, 
this kind of setup. How much does this cost? And how much does this give me? So this seems okay. Crap, that's not aligned. Yes, so. Yes, good. So we'll be ditching both of these plus using the decouplers, which is essentially. Ah, oh, gods damn it. So 4800. Okay. And then we'll be burning up a lot of fuel on this, and it's all sh it all should be fine, right? I'm thinking this will be okay. I'm thinking this will be okay. We're gonna add some winglets to make this a little more controlled, of course. And then, things being the glorious mess that they are, we're gonna add a pair of control thingies. Damn it. Yes, yeah, stay putniks. So, da -da 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 -da. we're gonna want a fracton of shoots to bring this down safely if we can. Just cause. For the sake of awesomes, really. Right? Right. Actually, no, we're not gonna add those there. That's stupid. Why would I do that? Silliness. Now, double symmetry, double symmetry. And another one. Well, no. Well, actually, yes. There we go. And quadruple symmetry. Good. Landing lens will probably be useless in that case, but... You know, whatever. Uh, yes, good. Strap these in, in every way possible, because this is gonna be a lot of boom. Okay, uh, good, good, good. Wait, so this seems okay-ish. Why don't we add a pair of thingies there? We will want some s cheap -ass solar panels on these. Something like so, and, well, like so, like so, just so that they're pointed in every direction, right? And then we'll just add a few batteries here, and, well, we could have much the same thing going on here, well, more or less, and a couple of batteries, good, and... A new innovation. Lights. Cool. You know what? Yeah, we'll go with this. That sounds great. That sounds great. We'll do it like that. Yeah, that's totally awesome. Alright. So this should make it into orbit relatively well. I think. Although, admittedly, I could just add a few more boosters. Because, you know, more boosters are always fun. Just to be absolutely sure that this thing does make it. Right? Like this. Go with, like, three. Why won't it... Oh. Right. The winglets and stuff. Great. Okay, higher up. Yes, yeah, so 5,000, because, you know, we want to ensure that we have more than enough. Go there, and you. We're just gonna strap this whole thing in. Yes. Still, this should be pretty, you know, manageable, I would think and hope. Hopefully. In any case, let us try to launch this in the next episode, anyway. So, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys then. So, uh, see ya.